Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello and welcome to mold 98. This one is so, so sweet. It is so tiny. Look at those tiny little holes. So pour each one of those up and then it had these two other little tiny holes on the side. I open it up to reveal this gorgeous set of dressed up mice with a little wagon and pram. I can't. These are so, so tiny. Look how sweet they are. I can't even imagine the time it would have taken to sculpt each and every one of these originally to make the mold from this they are so cute and i love how each one has its own little character and little outfit here is a look see at the mold if you're playing along at home and would like to find this mold to create with for yourself so because they're so small i was like what am i going to use these for and how can i make the most of how tiny they are without sort of losing them and my first idea was actually to put a little hoop in their heads to make them for a hanging necklace or an ornament or even to put on your keys or something like that because they are just they're just so cute and I feel like when they're just by themselves you can't really do much with them other than place them maybe in a doll's house but then they are so small I would worry that little children would like put them in their mouths and it just wouldn't be good. I decided to paint them with some rainbow washi colors so I created a little color palette up and watered down the underglaze and I'm sort of washing it on. The reason I'm doing a sort of watercolory look is because I felt like it would take a really really long time to do three coats of a solid underglaze aesthetic so I'm actually trying to make it look all muddy and patchy intentionally with this technique and it's still sort of to make it feel like Beatrix Potter or like a watercolor illustration come to life in a 3D sculpture. So that was the whole intention behind them is that they kind of feel like they've just stepped out of a gorgeous whimsical painting which I absolutely love. I really love this week's piece because they are so so small and I can see them having so much potential for lots of different things from earrings to necklaces to adding to different sculptures they really really are inspiring and I really love the color palette I chose it's very me and very bright and colorful and whimsical and fun and I had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun painting these I'm going to let you enjoy a little bit of painting and then I'm gonna glaze them but you're probably wondering what's the rest of this video what's the rest of this video just wait there's more there's more to this video we'll get to the glazing and I'll chime back in I should add little metal hoops to everything because it made glazing a dream because I didn't have these little fingerprints that I had to go back and touch up. Oh, it was so efficient and speedy. So you're probably wondering, what is the rest of this video? Well, well, I could not, I could not leave you hanging without a little Amaze teacup set. I could not leave you hanging without it. These teacups were just calling for these little mice to be attached and adorned to them. So that's what I'm doing. I poured the mice again and I was only going to put a couple on each teacup. So not all of them on one teacup, just because I wanted to be able to space it out and have this beautiful illustrative design behind it. 
or you know what I'll call it a painterly design behind it so I cut the back of the mice I scratched and scored it and added some slip so that they would attach nicely and I also hid a sneaky little mice friend inside one of the teacups because I've had a lot of requests for that I've had a lot of requests for hiding things in the bottom of mugs and stuff uh, I tend not to do it because I worry about the cleaning potential of like getting underneath little nooks and things and after you've had like a hot chocolate or something I just worry that you won't be able to clean it properly I'm doing one anyway because I just want to I just want to try it and I want to see if it will work and how good I'm going to be at trying to paint that tiny little mice with all the details inside a tiny teacup <laughs> we will see when we get there so as you can see here I've pulled up this really gorgeous rainbow color palette and I have decided that like I said before these mice feel like they've come straight out of a painting so I'm actually going to do a backdrop like a painting inspired by Monet and I'm doing that sort of blurry splotchiness where it's sort of from close up you can't really really make out what it is it just looks like brush strokes but as you step away you can see the detail and the landscape and how all the color choices and the color blending has added to create these sh shadows and movement and texture in the artwork so I'm adding all these little blobs and being really expressive with where they're going I'm making the flowers super super big because it's kind of like a mice world where they're like super tiny and everything around them they're looking up at it and it's super huge they're in this like giant world and they're tiny little beings because that's what they are this is probably one of my most favorite artworks I have made because of how much enjoyment I got out of the expression and the splodging and the building up the texture and the colors and the surface area of this design at first I was so so nervous to do this I was a bit daunted a bit daunted to get started but once I got started started my my flow was just uh, it was like something else I haven't had this in a really long time and I think that that's because I film so much of what I do but this is the first time I got into a massive flow state within the filming and within the decoration of these teacups so I just wanted to share that because I feel very connected with them I feel really grateful for them and I'm so glad I pursued my vision for these because I wouldn't have got to experience that utter utter mindfulness that I had this week whilst creating this piece it's not to say that I haven't enjoyed every other piece I've created it's just some connect a lot more deeply with me and my passion and my yeah my peaceful state of art making and I think that that's where this series has been so wonderful is it's allowed me to expand my skills and I've, I think I've banged on about this a number of times but it's just so nice to come across a piece that I fully connect with and I didn't expect it with these tiny mice but these teacups oh, they, they are just wonderful so as you can see what I'm doing with the palette is sort of dabbing and blending and adding color on top of color as a painter would I don't usually do this because it's really unpredictable how these pigments are going to fire and how deep rich and dark they're going to which is why sometimes when you are a painter it's hard to put those same techniques and ideas into motion because you've got a little bit more to think about than just adding color as you see it you've got to think about how it's going to cook in the oven as well once they had their little Monet inspired backdrop on I painted the little mice and you can see there I could not show you painting inside that mice <laughs> I could not show you my hand was in the way the whole time but I am actually really impressed with how well I got the detail on that little dude I am very very impressed so first I glazed the inside of the teacups and sponged away the drips and then I dipped them into the glaze I popped them into the kiln and 
oh my gosh i held off i had the little mini mice ready to go and i was i wanted to put them in the kiln straight away but i was like it's going to look so much better as a kiln pack and unpack when they're all together as like a big family so i waited so they're all going in the same kiln together here i am tetrising them all into the kiln it is a bit like this as i try and find the most effective efficient way to fit as many things as i can in and it can be a little bit trickier with a smaller kiln when you've got lots of work to fire trying to use it the most effectively as you can i pop them in and here they are i hope you can hear the smile in my voice because i have not stopped smiling since these came out of the kiln they are so so small and so gorgeous and they have literally filled my heart with more love than i thought what i could handle they just look like they're part of this sweet little community and i am just so impressed with this mold i am going to use this again and again i haven't actually spoken about what they are and so two of them are wearing a cute little dress there's a little old person that's got a walking stick and beard and then we've got a little dude that's sitting on a bench i love the one sitting on the bench so much that's why i put it on the teacup because i felt like it was kind of sitting and watching the world go by at the park we've also got one wearing a little country hat with a wagon and the little pram is so so small moving on to the little teacups i am in love they are so lovely i feel so connected with these they are so effective and I will definitely be doing this technique again. I was really nervous about how it was going to look and how muddy it was going to be, but the point of being inspired by Renee is it is quite muddy. It is quite muddy up close, but from afar, and up close they are both beautiful i think by having the mice in full detail it gives you that up close element whereas the monet inspired painting in the background gives you that from far away element while still making out what the mice is i think it just makes the mice feel like they're jumping out of that beautiful watercolor painting like i was talking about at the start of the video i am seriously impressed and my little mice inside looks fabulous i can't believe i got the details on it so for those that don't know the reason why so many people request this is so that as you drink your tea your little creature appears like a surprise little animal as you sip away i am just so very in love i think that these would be great necklaces i think that they would be great earrings i think they're great key rings as well but i have made these for something very very special thank you so much for watching another mystery mold reveal don't forget to like and subscribe and next week i am collaborating with the potter that inspired a lot of my pottery journey sarah connor ceramics will be joining us for mold 99